Welcome to episode 91 of the Hoop Threads podcast here with another prospect spotlight uh, with Dean Rucker uh, of Utah Prospects 15U as well as Tim View High School in Utah. Um, Dean, how's it going, brother? Good. How are you doing? Well, first off, did I pronounce your last name right? <laughs> uh, yeah. Like there's a bunch of different ways to pronounce it. Rucker, Rupert, whatever. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Sounds good. Well, um, first things first, you know, uh, let's talk about your first dunk. Tell me about that. Um, my first dunk was in like seventh grade, I think, and no one was videoing. So I got off the security cameras. So that was a cool. <laughs> was that an AU? Um, it was, it was, yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, it was in a tournament. Yeah. How, how tall were you then? I think like six, five, maybe. Okay. Gosh, it's good stuff. So, you know, kind of right now, what I what I see you as is just a high level shooter uh, that can also do some stuff off the bounce. Um, I think your the handle is good enough to get by guys um, to to get to like the one or two dribble pull ups, but I don't know if it's good enough yet to kind of navigate through defenders, if that makes sense, kind of through the the open court, kind of getting by guards and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, pretty good rebounder um and you have a pretty good feel for where the ball is coming off um just because you are a shooter so you know if you do happen to be on the opposite side you do a pretty good job of crashing the glass and i think you're solid defensively i think you care about that end of the floor which is good um and defensively like iq wise i think you know where to be i think the foot speed and kind of the lateral quickness kind of has to improve but um you know how fair do you think that assessment is kind of what do you think some of your strengths and weaknesses are as a player uh yeah, I think some of my strengths are I can I can shoot and I can like guard down low. And then like some weaknesses, I'm trying to like be able to play like a point guard and be able to like dribble like a point guard and then guard like at a like guard every position. Like I try to just guard uh point guards better. You know? Okay. Kind of speaking to that, you know, who do you model your game after? What are some of the players that you look up to? Um I feel like I'm I'm kind of built more like a, a Kevin Durant, kind okay. of long, but and yeah, kind okay. of Kevin. That's a good long term goal to try to get to. Yeah. Um, so you know, you just finished your first season of high school basketball and AAU. Uh, what are some differences in the game at the high school level for both AAU and high school basketball than it was, you know, at the middle school level? Um, going into high school, it's just a lot like fat more fast pace and you really got to like speed everything up and you go you got to try to slow things down and stuff and stay composed which is hard when you're young mm -hmm. and uh yeah gotcha okay talk about a time that you face adversity and what are some of the tools that you use to navigate through that period um i had i last high school season i sprained my ankle like midway through the season and that was like, it was tough because I was like, I was worried, like as a freshman, like, is anyone going to like try to take my spot or like, like everything like that. But yeah. And then I just like tried to work through it and stuff and yeah, it was all, all good. Okay. Got you. Talk about the difference in your role, you know, with, with Tent View versus, you know, with Utah prospects playing with some, you know, really good shooters. Uh, in, in a good system around you uh last year at Timview there was more seniors so I wasn't really the leader but this next year like all the seniors are gone and stuff so I'll be more of a leader and uh like uh our team is young so I'll have to lead them and then in AAU it's fun because like I get to play with like my friends from other high schools and stuff and it's it's just a lot different because my role with high school now will be like taking the ball of the court, like being a point guard, playing out every position. And then for club, I'm more like a wing shooter. And yeah. It's good to have those different kind of environments to, to kind of learn and grow and see the game from. So uh, who's the hardest work you've been around and what have you tried to kind of take from their game? Last year we had a senior that was he he worked really hard and he just got up every morning and 
went and was always in the gym and stuff. And I just kind of want to, he was a great leader last year. And I kind of want to be a leader like him for my high school team this next year and just try to be like him. What's his name? Let's shout him out real quick. Eli St. Clair. There we go. Okay. Uh, what's the best habit that you have in your daily routine? You know, is that stretching? Is that, you know, yoga, getting shots up, you know, praying every morning? I mean, what, what's, the, what's the best habit that you have so far that you've kind of built and, and think is a big part of, you know, what you do? I think getting shots up and going to workouts and always like wanting, like I'm kind of a perfectionist, with, which can be a good thing and a bad thing. Mm-hmm. But like, I always want to like have my shot just like spot on and always want to go get more shots up. And yeah, that's probably my best habit. Okay. Tell me about your gym schedule, kind of, you know, what time and, you know, when you're working out throughout the week, what parts of your game have you been working on the most? You know, what have you added, you know, since the high school season ended to now? Um, Since high school season ended, I've been trying to like lift more and get stronger. And that's like one of my main goals, getting stronger for this next high school season and next uh, AAU season. And uh, as far as like times in the day, I just like find a time I'll go shoot and then I'll have like a workout. Like I'll do like dribbling stuff and like moves and, and then I'll try to like lift with my dad or some trainers or something. Okay. What matchup do you look forward to the most? You know, whether that's a high school matchup or AAU matchup, it could be individual or, or, you know, a team that you really like playing against. I think this next year for Tim Pugh in high school, we'll play against Orem, which has two of my uh, good friends from prospects. And yeah, it's always a fun game. It'll, it gets crazy. So. Okay. What do you do right now that makes you stand out from the comp? competition and you know how will you contribute to winning at the college level when you get there um i think i can make shots at i i'm starting to make shots at a good percentage and i'm just trying to keep that up and then i can i can like not only just i'm not just a shooter but i can drive and take people to the basket too and it helps with my length and stuff okay What's your greatest value to the team right now? You know, like right now, I feel like it's your perimeter shooting. What have you learned about, you know, taking the right shot and impacting the game, you know, outside of the shooting when the shot isn't falling? When the shot isn't falling, like I kind of sometimes get in my head about things, but I like, I know that like my teammates want me to shoot the shot because they know I can make the shot. Mm -hmm. And so like I try, I try not to get like down on myself or anything and I try to keep shooting. And so, cause I know that like my coaches and my teammates, they want me to keep shooting like the next shot. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's good to have that confidence in you, you know, from the coaching staff as well as your teammates. Um, Tell me a, a part of your game that you feel like flies under the radar or is a bit undervalued to this point. I think I can, that I can play like outside, but I can also post up mm-hmm. when there's mismatches. Cause I'm like, I'm bigger and I can uh, post people up as well as like shoot and drive and all that. Okay. Kind of speaking to that point, uh, what parts of the floor do you feel the most comfortable right now? And then what do you feel the least comfortable kind of some spaces that you think you need to work on, you know, areas actually on the floor? Um, And I feel comfortable like this last high school season, I felt really comfortable with like in the corner and on the wings and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I want to get more comfortable like, like going against the press and playing as the point guard and handling the ball and handling the press and being able to uh, take people off the dribble. Okay. Got you. So the, the game is tied, you know, you have the ball, you know, six seconds left, you know, what's your go-to move with the game on the line? Do you want a ball screen? What part of the floor do you want it in? What what would you be looking for there? If if you had uh, the the control to, to call that final play. For that final play, I'd probably, It'll probably be a like a high ball screen, mm-hmm. like off the wing, and then like just a pick and roll, and then play off of that. Okay, gotcha. Uh, so let rank these, you know, one to three. Um, you know, one being you know the one that you enjoy doing the most and feel the most comfortable in versus kind of the least at the bottom. Uh, game winning assist, game winning bucket, game winning defensive stop. I'm ranking those like least their favorite to 
uh, the the number one that you that you want to do at the top, and then kind of working down from there. Um, I mean, everyone wants to like score. Like, I think a game a game winning bucket is big, and uh, a game winning assist. It's like it's kind of hard to rank them, but all of the all these are great. Like, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't really know. It's good to be in, in all those situations for sure. So, yeah. you know, talking about like this can be on the court or off the court. What are the, what are some things that you value and are really important to you, whether that's trust, whether that's hard work, whether that's, you know, honesty and kind of being straight up about things, whether that's kind of, you know, working through stuff as a team. What are some things that are really important to you as, as a player and as a person? I like being close to my teammates and like knowing them because it's it's hard it's a lot easier to play with teammates that you're like tight with and you can and you really know them and you can trust them on the court and off the court and stuff and then I just I like spending time with my family and my friends and just people that I love being around okay so you know you're heading into your sophomore season so we're kind of a a bit further away from this right now but you know as far as when it comes to recruiting and you know the college process you know, what is the type of school that that you think would be a good fit, whether it's, you know, public, private, big or small, West Coast, East Coast, you know, what type of system would you like to play in? You know, what type of, you know, coaching style kind of works with you the most, whether that's kind of hands off or more, you know, direct and, and kind of in your face, you know, what, what, are, what are you kind of looking for when it comes to that next level? I, I like coaches that give me good feedback and like, can when I mess up, I like knowing what I did wrong and what I can do better. And then I like, I would love to stay close to family, but I have family like all over the country. So, but yeah, and okay. it's, it's, yeah, it's good. Got you. So uh, tell me about some of your interests and hobbies off the court. And then after that, kind of tell me if basketball didn't work out for you, you know, if your career ended tomorrow, you know, God forbid, what would you, what would your plan be? Um, I like, I like golfing. I golf a lot (laughs) and I, um, I like hanging out with my friends and my family and I'm trying to start playing the guitar right now. Mm. So, yeah. And then if my basketball career ended, I think it would be cool to like start a business or something. Mm -hmm. That would be really cool. Okay. What is your what has been your happiest moment on a basketball court so far? I think one of the like happiest and most fun like environments and things that I've like had is at section seven when we played against uh Campbell Hall. We hit a uh a kid on my team hit a buzzer beater three for the win and it was it was just a really cool environment and awesome to be a part of. Mm-hmm. Got you. Yeah, that 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 sounds like a great time. I heard that's a really good event. Um, yeah. give me some of your goals for this season, whether they're they're personal goals or kind of team goals, high school or AAU. Kind of what do you have your sights set on this season? Uh for high school, I wanna like take the I've said this, but like I wanna take the role of being a leader and like being a good like captain for my team and like a person that like my teammates can come to and stuff. And I also my goal is like for like all of high school, I want to win a state championship, and yeah, and I just I just want to stick to that and do that. Okay, what what sets Utah basketball apart from you know basketball that you see being played in other parts of the country? Is that you know stylistically or the type of players that you guys typically you know have to go against? You know what 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 sets Utah apart? I think there's a lot of skilled players in Utah that aren't like a lot of them aren't like physically like as gifted as a lot of people like out of state but a lot of people are just skilled and like good shooters and good ball handlers and just like hard workers and stuff i think your state is severely under recruited as well for sure i think there's a lot of talent out there and you know Mm -hmm. just because there isn't as much media or you know as much of a big market i think some of it kind of flies under the radar a little bit 
Um, so the last question, or well, actually, before we get to the last question, let's talk about recruiting. You know, like I said, it is kind of early along in that process right now, but you know, what schools have extended, you know, scholarship offers to you so far? And, you know, what are some other schools that have been talking to you as well that maybe haven't got to that point in the process with you? So far, I've had scholarship offers from Weber State, Cal Berkeley, UNLV, and Utah Valley. And then I've had, like, phone calls with, like, BYU and and UCLA and, yeah. Okay. Mainly West Coast things, you know, as an East Coast guy, hopefully we'll, we'll, uh, we'll get your name out here a bit uh, on the, on the East Coast here. Uh, Last question for you, man, you know, what is your why, you know, why do you play the game of basketball? Why do you spend so much time, you know, working on your game and, you know, working with your teammates kind of away from school on top of all the, you know, responsibilities that you have as a high school kid, you know, what, what is your why? I, it's, like my why is kind of I it, I find it really fun to just like connect with people. I think it's a great way to connect with people playing basketball mm-hmm. and just being able to like get closer with people playing basketball. And um, I like I like like performing kind of for my family and like friends and stuff. People watching me, and I have like a lot of big fans like in my family, and they just love watching me. And it's just fun to like bring them joy playing yeah. basketball. Gotcha. Well, you got one here on the East Coast as well, man. I really appreciate the time and, you know, look forward to watching you this upcoming season. Yeah, thank you.